To my undocumented community, you are worth more than a piece of paper. You are worth more than your immigration status. I very quickly started to figure out that if people found out, they would look at me different. If they found out, they might use that information against me. And so it was difficult to have to move through life always keeping a secret. But the reason why I was getting rejected is because I didn't have a social security number. And that meant that I wasn't eligible to attend a lot of universities and I wasn't eligible for financial aid. And I actually got a scholarship that Rick Perry, the Republican governor of Texas at that time, sent it to me. And I was able to graduate from college and go on to have a really amazing career working at Goldman Sachs. There weren't a lot of women on Wall Street. There weren't a lot of Latino women on Wall Street, especially not doing the kind of job that I was doing, the client-facing roles. So I do feel very proud of what I accomplished when I was working on Wall Street. I do think that my story in so many ways is the definition of the American dream. I also think that immigrants who don't end up working on Wall Street are also definitions of the American dream. The people that clean our homes and that mow our lawns and that take care of our children and that serve our food at restaurants, they are the American dream. They are pursuing the American dream just as much as I was working on Wall Street.